Hi again, everybody, and welcome back to Enjoy TV. I'm Bruce. And I'm Laurie. Today, we have the beginning of our Business English section for the month. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to use two days, and each day we will have two dialogues to read and explain to you. The topic today is job fair. And if you're not sure what that means, that's why we're here. 嗯哼，所以呢，今天我们进入了这个每一次呢会有两天的对话来讨论的一些商业英语的课程。那么这一次我们要来讨论的主题叫做就业博览会，也就是刚刚Bruce老师说的job fair。那么不熟悉的话呢，只要看完这两天的对话，同学就会很清楚了。嗯，That's right. Okay, now let's get ready to take a look at our dialogue. The dialogue. There's a company over there that I really want to check out. How about we meet back here at 4 o'clock? Sure, that will give us enough time to take a look around. Hi, my name is Steve Leo, and I'm really interested in finding out what kinds of opportunities are available at Business Solutions for a guy like me. Hello, Steve. Are you still a student? No, I graduated last semester with a bachelor's degree in business administration. Do you have any sales or other business experience? Yes. For the past two years, I've worked part-time at Modern City Department Store selling cameras and other electronic equipment. The explanation. 内文讲解. Okay, now let's start reading our dialogue with this introductory sentence. Steve and Mandy recently graduated from college and are now attending a job fair on campus. We are introduced to the two main actors in this uh, little dialogue. They are Steve and Mandy. Now notice they have graduated from, use from, a college or university. Also, we don't, in American English, use the passive here. Many of my students will say, I was graduated from, but most Americans use the active voice, which is simply, I graduated from. I did the studying, I took the tests, I graduated. Okay, but would you consider I was graduated from wrong? I, actually, I wouldn't consider it wrong, okay. but it's seldom used. Okay. Okay, so here we see the first sentence about our two main Steve and Mandy, they recently graduated from college. Bruce University. Bruce Bruce graduated from, and graduated from. But as far as I remember, that's because we learned it when we learned it. It's just be graduated from, from. as of a pian yu. Right. But as you can write here, actually, the first sentence is more suitable for the real thing. Because I read, 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 Okay, don't worry about that one. Either way is correct. Mm -hmm. Let's finish this sentence because it tells us what they are doing. That's right. Uh, Stevie uh, and Mandy. They are now attending a job fair on campus. Mm. Here's another point. Do not say in campus. We always say on campus. And the job fair you'll find out about really soon. 
。That's right. 所以接下来呢，继续我们的这个后半个句子，讲到说了，那么 Steve 跟 Mandy 两个呢，这个刚刚毕业于他的 college， 那么现在呢是正在 attending。attending 我们讲的是参加啊，或者是出席的意思。那你常常也会听到的是，比如说 attend a wedding， 或者是 funeral， 参加一个婚礼或者一个丧礼。但他们现在参加的不是婚礼，也不是丧礼，他们去参加了一个 job fair， 就是就业博览会，而且是 on campus， 在学校里头举办的。那么刚刚呢 ，Bruce 老师提醒大家的，要小心。其实那是因为在中文我们会讲校园里跟校园外。And that's why 同学们会很自然的会用 in 跟 out。不过小心这里呢 ，on campus 在校园内跟 off campus 在校园外，它是固定的用法，所以你只要记下来就好了。嗯 ，also on a farm， most of my students say in a farm， and we think 奇怪<笑> ，on a farm on campus。OK， 好，所以呢，这个要小心，就是这种固定的片语，同学把它背熟了，其实你就不会错了。OK， right。Now let's start the dialogue. There's a company over there that I really want to check out. Now Stephen starts here. A company. This tells you about the job fair. He wants to start work. He graduated and now is looking for a job. That's why he's at the job fair.、Mm. To check out something is just to take a look at something. To find out. That's right. So, 呢，果然这个就业博览会嘛 ，job 就是工作 ，fair 就是一个博览会，一个这个那个很大型的那种展览会，所以表示很多人要找工作，找 job， 他就在这个地方找。所以一开始 Steve 就注意到了 ，There's a company over there. 那边有一家公司呢，是怎么样的公司 ？That I really want to check out. 是我真的很想去瞧瞧，去看看的啊、哦，这个公司。He asks、uh, Mandy, "How about we meet back here at four o'clock?" For、uh, spoken English, we often say "How about?" That's right. And that means, "Would you like? Is it okay?"、What、How about giving、think? me some money? As I was saying, <laughs> okay. How, how about just... we meet back here at four o'clock? So he really means、uh, let's meet back here at four o'clock. 没错，就是像 Bruce 老师讲，这其实是一个口语的这个呃方式。How about 其实就是要提一个 suggestion 哦、right, uh, ，要 suggest、right. something 的时候，你就 How about 他说 We meet back here， 因为他们会到处去逛。那最后呢，在 back here 回到这里，几点钟呢 ？At four o'clock， 四点的时候回来碰面。How about you check out that Coca-Cola ATM machine? I know you are going to say that. <laughs> you know,、uh, I don't want to take that advice because you are closer <laughs> than that.、Uh, you know, no, not knowing where machine is. <laughs> And then she can spend it any way she likes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Next,、uh, sure, she says that will give us enough time to take a look around.、Hmm. Again, this is.、Uh, Walk around and and、uh, check out things. It's a fair. Yeah, it must a be a fair, big place, and it's beautiful and it's comfortable and mainly it's offering jobs、That's、that、right. they need. So he will have many many booths, that is, tables, like that. Okay. So Mandy says, "Sure, no problem. That will give us." That 这边指的同学把它写下来，是指这个建议，就是我们大家去逛一逛，四点再回来碰面的这个建议呢。Will give us 将会给我们两个呢 enough time 都足够的时间去干嘛呢 ？To take a look around 就是去四处看看。Mm. Now in this part of the dialogue, Steve is talking to a recruiter.、Mm. Uh, a recruiter is someone at one of those companies who is checking out. The graduates. That's right. 那么接下来讲到了 Steve， 他现在就正在跟一个这种 recruiter， 我们讲的是这种呃征招员哦，招聘员正在聊天。那 recruit 这个动词呢，同学可以看到我们这旁边的笔记呢，征招哦，它是动词。如果当名词来讲，我们会指一些新兵或新员工。嗯哼。Steve starts this part. He says, "Hi." My name is Steve Liu.、Mm -hmm. I'm really interested in finding out what kinds of opportunities are available at Business Solutions for a guy like me. Well, he's introduced himself very well、That's、and、right. tells the recruiter why he's there. Business Solutions is a company,、uh, I believe, in the computer industry. 
and uh, he starts the conversation, and we'll find out what the recruiter says in a minute. That's right. 那么这里我们看到呢 ，Steve 很清楚的首先介绍自己说 ，Hi， 我的名字叫 Steve 刘。接着他很清楚的说出，我非常的 interested in， 就是对什么有兴趣 ，in finding out， 希望找出来 what kinds of opportunities， 就是有哪些种类的机会是 are available， 就是是目前有空有缺的，有要找人的，在哪里呢 ？At business solution， 就是他们这家公司的名字了。Mm-hmm. 那么最后他还加了 for a guy like me。像我这样的一个人的条件，你们有什么缺吗？这样。And the re- recruiter asked Steve, "Hello, Steve, are you still a student?"、Mm. Because Steve said, "A guy like me." Yes. The recruiter wants to know, "Have you graduated?" That's right. 所以他这个招聘员问了一个很重要的问题。他说 "Hello, Steve. 那么你还是个学生吗、uh, ？"He says, "No, I graduated last semester." With a bachelor's degree、oh. in business administration.、Mm-hmm. Well, this is good news for、right. the recruiter. That's right. So, 呢，就会那个 Steve 回答说，不啊，我在上个学期就已经毕业了，而且呢，我拿到了我的这个 bachelor's degree， 我们叫学士的学位，在什么样的科系呢？是 business administration， 就是说商业管理的这个学士学位。Then the recruiter asks. Do you have any sales or other business experience? Good question. Very good question. That's right. 招聘员问的第二个问题很重要了。那你有没有任何这个销售或者是任何商业方面的经验呢？ Because it's not only about schoolwork; it's also about experience. That's right. And Steve answers, "Yes, for the past two years, I've worked part time at Modern City Department Store." So he's been in sales. In a department store. That's right. So he answered, "Yes, I have some experience." So now we see a very important word for the past few years. For the past, or 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 the 就是现在完成进行式来表达。那这里我们看到的是，在过去的两年，他用了一个现在完成式。I have worked part time. 我在兼职哦，打工在哪里呢？在 Modern City 这家百货公司呢，我打工了两年。And what has he done at the department store? He was selling cameras and other electronic equipment. Which is good for business solutions, which、Definitely. is in the IT industry. 嗯，那么呢，在这两年打工的内容是做什么呢？他接着把它补充完，是卖相机以及其他的电子设备。那这里的 equipment 表示设备或器材，同学要小心，它是一个集合名词，所以千万不要加 s 啊、嗯。如果你要算一件、两件这种 equipment， 你可以用 a piece of、good. two pieces of、嗯、再加 equipment 这样子。Okay, that's it for dialogue A. Now let's look at dialogue B. The dialogue, 情境对话 Can you tell me a bit more about yourself, Steve? Certainly. I graduated with a 3.9 grade point average. Also, I was a member of a few clubs and organizations at college. I'd like to hear more about your extracurricular activities. I was involved with the Young Businessmen's Association and the International Students Society. In addition, I was vice president of the student body for one year. I must say, I'm rather impressed with your background. So I'd like you to send me your resume. Here's my card. Actually, I have a copy right here. Excellent. Well, we'll give you a call soon to set up an interview. Sounds great. Thank you very much. The explanation, 内文讲解 So in dialogue B, Steve、yes. is continuing to talk to the recruiter at the job fair. The cr- recruiter works for Business Solutions. Steve has graduated from college、uh, with a, his B.S. degree, Bachelor of Science, and、uh, he's looking for work. And Business Solutions has some connection with the kind of work he did for two years, part time, in a department store. 
selling electronics. That's right. Now, that's not the end of the interview here. The uh, recruiter continues by asking, can you tell me a bit more about yourself, Steve? 嗯,所以呢,這個在教這個就業的博覽會上面我們來看到繼續呢,這個招聘員在跟Steve在繼續的這個進行這個面試,那麼recruiter先問了,你能不能再告訣我a more, 再多一點點關於你自己的事情呢?這樣。And Steve says certainly, you should always be cooperative during an interview. That's a good word, cooperative. Can we spell that, please? Sure. C O O P E R A T I V E. Again, C O O P E R A T I V E. To be cooperative means you want to work well with others. 没有错，就是配合度要高了。Okay. Mm -hmm. So Steve gives him more information. He says, "I graduated with a 3.9 grade point average." Uh, this is used in universities. 4.0 is excellent, excellent, excellent. 3.9 <laughs> is excellent. Excellent. <laughs> All right. So, then he will answer, "That is certainly no problem. Certainly, that is of course, ah, no problem. That means I can talk more about my own things. So, he first talks about his graduation grade. So, here he says, "I graduated with a 3.9 grade point average." Here we see that we often call it GPA, which is our average grade point average. All right. So, earlier we talked about how it is very good. That 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 is very good. Right? <laughs> They're both excellent. And Steve continues, also, I was a member of a few clubs and organizations at college. So we're going to find out uh, what kind of clubs or organizations may be, but it shows that he's a very active and cooperative uh, student. And fellow classmate. 嗯，这个是面试的人其实很喜欢会听到的，因为他介绍说 ，also 除此之外，好，我的学业成绩很棒。除此之外呢，我还是一个 member 是成员。什么样的成员呢？有几个 club 社团，以及呢 organization 是一些组织哦，都是在那个 college， 在他学校里头社团跟组织的成员。那这表示什么呢？就是刚刚布鲁老师说的，他是一个很 active， 一个非常活跃的学生。嗯。Uh, and uh, Steve gives him more information after the recruiter asks, I'd like to hear more about your extracurricular activities mm. because Steve just mentioned clubs and organizations. That's right. Those are really what we mean by extracurricular. Extra here means outside. Kutsung mm -hmm. is curriculum. Uh, the adjective is AR, extracurricular activities, is not in the classroom, but is in the school. That's right. So, this recruiter says, I want to hear more about your extracurricular activities. We just talked about extra is outside, and curricular is curricular. So, curricular activities are outside. That means that we have some club activities. And now Steve gives him examples. I was involved with the Young Businessmen's Association and the International Student Society. So he studied some business, and he's also maybe made some international connections. Wow. Okay. So Steve 还真的是很活跃。他说呢 ，I was involved with. 我有参与。参与什么呢？一个是这个年轻的这个商人的一个这个 association。我们讲到的是讲协会啊，或者是一个联盟。所以可能都是一些年轻的这个呃要对商业有兴趣的学生们。以及我还参加了一个叫做国际学生会社啊。这个 society 可以是一个社团，一个会。所以呢，他参加了这两个活动。那么我们看到的这个 be involved in 或者 be involved with 都是指参与的意思， right？ And right. are they basically the same? Yes. Okay. So these two are the same meaning. So I get involved in 什么什么或者 with 什么什么，就是指你去参与的意思。嗯。And uh, Steve continues. He has more experience. In addition,、mm -hmm. I was vice president of the student body for one year. In charge of or a, a leader of all the students, so this shows leadership. Very important in an interview. Wow, you sound like a very experienced recruiter. Ah,、uh, 像一个很有经验的招聘员。Ah,、uh, I've 
you interviewed for many many jobs, right? Okay. 好，所以确实哈，很多人要去跟 Bruce 老师面试的时候要这样 present 自己。所以呢，他刚刚一听到说这个 Steve 讲说除此之外 ，in addition 啊，就是除此之外的意思啊。这个他还是一个 vice president， 我们讲的是副的会长。All right, 或者副的社长、mm-hmm. 是什么组织呢？是 student body， 我们讲学生会的副会长呢，有一年。所以呢，刚 Bruce 老师指的这个可以表现出他的 leadership， 就是他的领导的能力。嗯、mm. ，The recruiter says, I must say that I'm rather impressed with your background. So everything Steve has said so far、mm-hmm. is has impressed the recruiter, and he continues. So I'd like you to send me your resume. Please send me your list of education and work experiences. Here's my card.、Uh, I think you know what that means. Yeah. Okay. So this recruiter is really very interested in this Steve. So he says, "I must say, I 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 must 印象深刻，我真的对你的 background、你的背景印象很深哦。那么呢，我希望你可以寄给我你的 resume， 就是你的履历表。那么同时，他还把自己的名片说 ，Here's my card， 我的名片给你。嗯、mm-hmm. 哼 ，Yeah。And Steve continues. Actually, I have a copy right here, which is good because Steve is prepared for anything. Yeah， 这个 Steve 我们可以用一个英文叫做 well prepared、yep.。他真的准备的非常的充分呢。他才这个招聘官才跟他说，请他寄这个履历表给他。他立刻就像刚不老师做的动作，他说 ：“Actually， 呃、uh, ，事实上呢，我已经有一份履历表 right here， 就在这里，好厉害哦。Oh. ”Yeah， he's still impressing the recruiter. Yes. Who says sounds great? That's right. In fact, the recruiter seems to be still very impressed with Steve, and he、mm-hmm. says, "Excellent. We'll give you a call soon to set up an interview." This shows that the recruiter is very interested now and wants to check out Steve. That's right. So, 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 Uh, oh no, not that ring. Ha, this、oh, ring can be a necklace. But we talk about calling the phone. We can also give somebody a ring. ring. That's more British English. Call is American English. That's right. That some, 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 some All right, and we finish with Stevie. He's very happy too. He says, "Sounds great. Thank you very much. Always be polite." That's true. So you see, we have this very experienced recruiter who said the last point. He said, "This Steve answered, 'Too good, but I'm very thankful for you.' So you must remember to be polite at the end, to be polite and polite." Okay. Well, that's it for A and B. Please join us again tomorrow when we finish our job fair dialogues. With sections C and D. Until、That's、then,、right. see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Words and phrases, 单字片语 Number one, graduate from. Graduate. Adam will be eighteen years old when he graduates from high school. Number two, on campus. Campus. Many people like to take a walk on campus after classes are over. Number three, take a look around. Have a look around. You can take a look around my new apartment if you want. Number four, equipment. The clerk guaranteed me that the equipment would meet my needs. Number five, be involved with. Doctor Jones has been involved with his project since the beginning. Number six, in addition, the movie was very exciting. In addition, 
the male lead was very attractive. Number seven, be impressed with, be impressed by. The audience was impressed with the little girl's singing. Number eight, rather. I was rather surprised to see Jenny with the famous singer. Extra words. Number one, recruiter. Number two, bachelor's degree. Number three, business administration. Number four, grade point average. Number five, extracurricular activity. Number six, association. Number seven, student body. The dialogue, 情境对话 There's a company over there that I really want to check out. How about we meet back here at four o'clock? Sure, that will give us enough time to take a look around. Hi, my name is Steve Leo. And I'm really interested in finding out what kinds of opportunities are available at Business Solutions for a guy like me. Hello, Steve. Are you still a student? No, I graduated last semester with a bachelor's degree in business administration. Do you have any sales or other business experience? Yes. For the past two years, I've worked part time at. Modern City Department Store selling cameras and other electronic equipment. Can you tell me a bit more about yourself, Steve? Certainly, I graduated with a 3.9 grade point average. Also, I was a member of a few clubs and organizations at college. I'd like to hear more about your extracurricular activities. I was involved with. The Young Businessmen's Association and the International Students Society. In addition, I was vice president of the student body for one year. I must say, I'm rather impressed with your background. So I'd like you to send me your resume. Here's my card. Actually, I have a copy right here. Excellent. Well, we'll give you a call soon to set up an interview. Sounds great. Thank you very much. Just for fun, 趣味英文 Job interviews, the little things. The little things in a job interview can make a big difference. It's important to dress well for an interview, which means dressing slightly better than what you would wear on the job. Make sure clothes and shoes are in good condition, and keep jewelry to a minimum. It's also important to sit straight up, speak clearly, and look directly at the interviewer. Also, try not to touch your hair or face, as both gestures look like you're nervous or trying to hide something. There are equally important things that one shouldn't do: smell good, but never too strong. Don't chew gum or drink coffee before the interview. Most importantly, turn off your phone before you arrive. 所以呢，我们今天这里教的是工作面试的一个小常识。OK， 我们这个小小的知识却有很大的影响。特别第一个注意到，你在参加工作面试的时候呢，要穿的比平常还要再正式一点。OK， 另外呢，啊，你要确定你的衣服跟你的鞋子都是在良好的状态之下，还有呢，尽量不要带一些金银珠宝之类的。另外呢，你在做的时候也要做的很挺直，并且讲话清楚，然后呢，眼睛直视着啊这个面试官。此外呢，你也不要碰触你的头发或者是脸，因为这两种姿势看起来让人家感觉你很紧张，并且呢，试图要隐瞒一些东西似的。还有最重要的事情就是什么呢？啊，你可以擦一些香水，但是呢，不要擦得太浓。此外，也不要吃口香糖或是喝咖啡。另外，最重要的就是把你的手机关机喽。
。OK， 这就是今天的工作面试小常识。